Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on my uh, costume script for Crake for iPhone. First of all, you have to go into uh, maddox.dk slash iPhone slash costume script dot zip. And you open the file. And this file contains two files uh, plus a readme file. Um, so you're going to open the readme file and see that the uh, uh, auto execute that CFG uh, needs to be placed in the Quake for iPhone uh, folder and inside the ID1 folder within the Quake for iPhone folder. And the other Quake.CFG has to be moved to the WA mobile media uh, folder on your uh, iPhone or uh, iPod Touch. So when you've done that, you're pretty much off to go. So now when you have uh, put the files over to your iPhone or iPad Touch, you need to access them. Um, to access them you need a text editor. In this case I have uh, downloaded the G text edit from the uh, Cydia. There. Uh, from Cydia. And um, it works pretty well, actually. So, um, unfortunately there's no favorites and so on, so you have to type it in every time. But I hope they fix that soon. So basically you just hit uh, the open button down here, and uh, then we got the um, the location we have to type in. So we hit slash more slash uh, mobile slash media with a uppercase M bit hard with only one finger this thing and uh, the quake dot cfg so wow well, well, media quake dot cfg so as we open this you can see there's uh, several things already there and I've just added a few things like my bindings for example down here you can see there is bind all control and shift and so I don't have to go into my computer or Mac and uh, HHS some um, some files over with the new bindings if I need to change them. I can just do it directly from the iPhone or iPad Touch. And I've set the view, view size to 100 trim, uh, which just removes the uh, the little extra bar where you can see all your ammunition for all the weapons. It's just a waste, and I think it's better to see even more of the um, the game itself. So uh, if you want to play um, on the internet server, let's take a random server like uh, HOX, um, you can say connect. And then type the address, which is xoc dot i. Oops, uppercase. Let's just do this right. I H O C dot net. Of course, don't have to do this uppercase just so you can see it. And we hit the save button. And again, we have to enter the location. Quite annoying, but um, again, I hope the guys who make this will fix it. Var slash mobile slash media slash quake yes dot c f g okay so now the file is saved onto um, onto the iPhone here so what to do go out open quake And hit play. And as you can see now it's trying to connect to the internet server. Connecting, keep alive. And now you're on the ranking board, which is so you are now successfully connected to the server. So now we're just going to enter the game. Not sure if there are any 
people on the server right now. It's early morning, so um, but let's have a look. So now we're on the server, and here we go. Doesn't seem there are, like there are anybody on it. We can try to kill ourselves to see the skull list. What? It seems like I cannot die. Sometime, somehow I... Oh, it's maybe one of the relics. Anyway, I don't think there are any people in the server, but uh, if there is, there would of course be people running around here. Um, I've tried a few games, and uh, <laughs> it's a little bit hard to play against players who are playing on the PC, but uh, this would be good for a match between the, uh, for example, the iPhone versus iPhone via internet connection. Um, so uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy some internet game on the Quake 4 iPhone. And um, you can also use the, uh, the config script to, you know, change bindings or any other setting. And uh, of course it's easy to edit within the iPhone just using a uh, text editor. So um, hope you enjoy and goodbye.